Brendan Dassey is now 19 years old and spending the last part of his teenage years at Columbia Correctional Facility in Portage. He's struggling to, to live life uh, behind bars. It's, it's extremely depressing. He's, he's far away from his family. It's a very lonely existence and he's hoping that he'll have a chance to, to vindicate himself. His new attorneys say vindication should come in the form of a new trial. Tuesday, they filed paperwork with the Manitowoc County Circuit Court asking for it. The jury did not hear a lot of evidence um, which would have explained to, to them why Brendan confessed to a crime that he did not commit. Throughout pages of legal documents, Dassey's new attorneys say his old attorneys weren't loyal to Dassey and didn't argue like they should have against his taped confession. The jury in Dassey's 2007 trial heard and saw a videotaped conversation Dassey had with two investigators in the case, where he detailed Teresa Hulbeck's death. What was she saying? Screaming for help. When Dassey testified, I don't know. He said he made up the story. Dassey's new legal team says the jury only saw part of that statement and needs to know about other statements Dassey made before and after the taped confession. You have to look at the whole package. Dassey's new attorney also says he has a source for every part of Dassey's confession. What Dassey told investigators, he could have learned from news reports or other family members and says there is nothing in his confession that only the true perpetrator would know. Dassey's attorney also submitted a statement from Dassey where he talks about feeling nervous, uncomfortable, pressured and tricked by investigators and says he lied to make their questioning stop. In the statement, Dassey says when talking to his lawyers, I was always very clear that I didn't want to admit to anything because I hadn't done anything wrong. If Dassey gets a new trial, it is now up to the judge, who will likely make a decision in the next two months. Becky DeVries, Fox 11 News. Now, do you know she told me that she was going with Scott to the hospital to see his mom? My mom's fiance. Did you know ahead of time that that might be something she was doing that evening? No.